We'll hear from the member for McNamara. Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Housing and Homelessness. How is the Albanese Labor government supporting Australians into home ownership, and what are the barriers to the support? Call to the Minister for Housing, the Minister for Homelessness, and the Minister for Small Business. The member for Barker will cease objecting. Thanks, Mr Speaker, and I want to thank the member for McNamara for that important question. I know that the member for McNamara has been a great supporter of, the Labor's, of Labor's housing agenda, and indeed to thank him for his support last night member for, for his help, for our help to buy a shared equity scheme, Mr Speaker, that passed the House last night. Help to buy will support low- and middle-income Australians who are struggling to buy their own home save up to 40 per cent on their mortgage. Eligible participants will only need a 2 per cent deposit and the government will support them with an equity stake of up to 40 per cent for new homes and up to 30 per cent for existing homes, Mr Speaker. This means a lower deposit and lower ongoing repayments for tens of thousands Order, of Australians. The will pause. That's the fourth time the member for Deakin has been interjecting during this answer alone. And it's always on this minister as well. He's warned. So no more interjections on this minister and hopefully for the remainder of question time as well. It, 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 doesn't matter who the, it doesn't matter who the interjection is from or who to, but we're just going to limit the interjections to assist the House. I want to hear what the minister has to say, just as I wanted to hear the question. Thanks, Mr Speaker. After last night, we're now one step closer to delivering on this life-changing election commitment. This will be life-changing for 40,000 low- and middle-income Australians. And I want to thank all of my colleagues Order. on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, but also some members of the crossbench, the members for Curtin, Goldstein, Indi, Fowler, Kuyong, McKellar, Wentworth, Warringah, North Sydney, Clark and Collette, who did support Help to Buy, because they understand this is about help for real people. Help for people like Gemma from Canberra. And I've quoted Gemma in this place before, and Gemma has said, and I want to quote her, help to buy would give me something to look forward to, something to work towards, Mr Speaker. That's what Labor is focused Order. on, getting people into home ownership. But the same, unfortunately, cannot be said for those opposite, and indeed the Greens, who teamed up together yet again, and they came in here last night, and they voted Order. against the helping Australians into home ownership. They voted against help to buy, knowing that it has the backing of experts, knowing that it has the backing of the construction sector, and knowing that it has the backing of advocates on the front line of our housing challenges. Mr. Speaker, over here they want to talk a lot about home ownership, but they don't vote to support more Australians into home ownership. And I'd say this is becoming a bit of a habit teaming up with the Greens. They teamed up on the Housing Australia Future Fund to delay. Uh, our fund getting up and running. That fund is now established and generating returns. And indeed, last night again, they did it again. But, Mr Speaker, they do need to go back to their constituencies and they need to explain to people how they voted in this place. And particularly the member for Gippsland and the member for Fairfax, who have written to me asking about help to buy. I hope they're going to tell their constituents that they came in here and they voted against it, Mr Speaker. They write to me and they voted against supporting help to buy. You know, they're teaming up with the Greens, but this is about people. It's about your constituents. So like Gemma Minister and Chris and Sandra that I've quoted in this place last week, we took it to in the election, Mr Speaker. It's about time those opposites supported it and the Greens need to support it as well in the Senate.